Hi. In this video, I'd like to show you how to set up your journey dock on your center console. So here we have a pretty standard center console. The first step to set up your journey dock is to open it. So you open it up. Once it's open, you take these two straps and you lay them in like so. Okay? Then we close the console. We make sure that it latches securely. Now this console opens towards the back, but this will also work with a center console that opens to the side or that opens towards the front. And it also works with an armrest like many cars and other vehicles have in their back seat or like a lot of pickup trucks have. So once we have the straps in place, we take the mounting plate, which I have right here. Now the mounting plate has a foam rubber mat on its underside that protects your console from damage and keeps it from sliding around. So what we do is we set the mounting plate right on top of the center console. Now you can see on this console the front tilts downward ever so slightly. So if I put, this, put the mounting plate onto it, it's kind of facing down or it kind of slopes downward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this excess mat and I'm going to roll it up just like so and then I'm going to put it on the console. So you can see that this excess roll here gives it lift in the front and helps to level out the mounting plate. Okay, once we have the mounting plate level on top of the console, we're going to pull our straps through the bottom of the buckle and we're going to cinch it down really tight on top of the center console. We're going to do this with both straps. Okay. Mm, there we go. So it's cinched down pretty good. I want you to make sure when you do this that it's tight on top of your center console lid. That's important. So once we have it on top, the next thing we do is we take the journey dock table, which I have right here, and we line up these two holes on the table to these two holes on the mounting plate. There we go, gonna line it up. Next, I'm gonna take these two slotted bolts and I'm gonna drop each one into its hole respectively. So I'm going to take my finger then, I'm going to tighten it down just a little bit, I'm going to tighten the back one down, and then I'm going to take a quarter and I'm going to use that to tighten it the rest of the way. Okay, once that's firmly tightened, what you can see we have is we have the table itself tightened to the mounting plate, and we have the mounting plate itself tight to the console. It's to your center console. So, the next step is to take the organizer, which I have right here, and I'm just going to drop it in this hole in the front, right in place, just like that. Uh, I'm going to take any pens or pencils I have, I'm going to drop them in just like so. In fact, I'm even going to take that quarter I used to tighten it down, I'm going to drop that in there as well. It also has, has a slot here that's good for credit cards, uh, post-it notes, um, there's a lot of different ways you can utilize the organizer. The next thing I'm going to add is this clipboard. So I'm going to put it in place just like that. Now you can see that the clipboard is facing the front, the clip is, but we can also position it in two other ways. So you can turn it around so the clip is facing backwards, or if you want, you can turn the whole thing upside down, which creates a nice flat surface on the tabletop itself. For now, we're going to leave the clip up, facing forward. Okay, so our next step then is to take the phone mount, which I have right here. Now you can see the phone mount has a hole in the base right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bolt. I'm going to drop it into that hole and I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it 
in one of four different places on the tabletop. So there's four different holes here, 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 and here. This can go in any one of those four holes. I'm going to choose the front right hole. So as you can see, you drop the bolt through, you take this thumb nut, and you use it to tighten the bolt down to the table itself, just like that. So once I have the mount secured to the tabletop, I position the arm here however I want. I can go back, I can go forwards. I'm going to put it somewhere right in the middle. And then the cradle, I can move left and right. I can move it up and down. I'm going to put it just right there. And once I have it just where I want it, I'm going to add my phone. So there's a spring-loaded mechanism on the bottom here that's going to hold your phone in place as you travel. All you do is you press down on that spring-loaded mechanism, put your phone in place, and you can see your phone is solidly in place on the mount. Now, a couple more things I'm going to do before I hit the road. I'm going to take a tablet. I'm going to put it on the clipboard. And well, this coffee I brought in with me, well, I've got a better place to put it now. There we go. I can also put it on my side if I want to. Just like so. Okay, and if I'm not using it, of course I can slide it back under. Okay. So what we have here is the most basic configuration for a journey dock. We have one phone mount set up, but as you saw, we have four different holes where you can mount different devices to. So if you want to mount a GPS to this, if you want to mount a tablet computer, uh, you can. Um, there are uh, ways that you can mount your tablet computer and it can face the passenger so the passenger can use it too. Uh, there's many different configurations and ways to set up your journey dock so you can customize it exactly how you want it. Um, you can see some of our other videos for specific ways you can do that or you can look at other pages on our website for more information. So as it is now, I'm ready to roll. Thanks for watching.